So um, at any time during the presentation this evening, feel free to ask questions and uh, David and I will get to them. By the way, my name is Sarah Bremeyer and I'm with podiatrymeetings.com and... And I'm Anne. <laughs> <laughs> So we are your hosts this evening with podiatry, pra or sorry, <laughs> practice partner management. I lied about all of that. Practice partner academy. <laughs> I'm looking at all these screens, kind of, I'm looking at like who's coming on. So I don't go too quickly. I don't want to. I don't want anyone to miss anything. So We're, okay, Sarah is clearly in vacation mode because yes, we're I'm to, ready to go to Orlando. We're heading to Orlando for yeah. the San conference this week, so she's like, she's already gone. I'm watching <laughs> the screen fill up with attendees and like my brain, and I am I'm two people tonight. So because I'm Sarah with podiatry. <laughs> with dietarymeetings.com and then I'm Sarah with 10 Toes Marketing Communications tonight too. So this is, I got a lot going on. But um, for those of you who just joined us, hi, I'm Sarah. We have Anne, we have Dr. Zuckerman. You have entered Practice Partner Academy. <laughs> and tonight we are going to be learning about the business case for leveraging lasers in your podiatric practice. So um, we have David Zuckerman with us tonight. Uh, when we start the presentation, I'll do a little intro of him. He is one of my dearest friends in the whole world. And um, But I do want to let you guys know that when you go to our site, podiatrymeetings.com, if you go to the news section, you'll see upcoming web webinars, which is, I'm sure you're familiar with this page because this is where you registered for tonight's event. If you scroll down, you will see more upcoming sessions where you can RSVP. So just quickly, I want to let you know what we've got on the schedule right now. Um, on February 15th, we are going to be doing the magic and mystery of Google ads and Facebook ads with Podiatry Content Connection and Randy Rossler. And then about a week and a half or so later, we will have Dr. Doug Ritchie treat on treating the adult acquired flat foot with the Ritchie brace pearls to assure a successful outcome. So if you want to, um, you know, we, you can, you can register for these at any time. You can see you've got your little check marks here. Um, you can register for both. You can register for one, or you can just say no dice, keep me posted on more to come. However. So I just want to give a little heads up on that. And uh, we will be adding more to the schedule. So keep your eyes peeled for future practice partner Academy webinars. All right. I'm going to go to our slides now. Anne, did you have anything to say before we get started? Nope, nope. Just uh, if you have questions, put them in the chat or in the Q&A and um, we'll be kind of addressing them as we go or we can hold them all to the end. So just, you know, type away. And if you want to speak, um, if you have like a question that you want to talk about, just raise your hand and we'll um, unmute you and you can join us and we can chat. All right, very good. So normally when we have a... A PPA webinar, I go away um, because I'm with podiatrymeetings.com and I let, you know, whoever we have online do do whatever. So, but now I'm going to do a quick, now I'm Sarah Bremeyer with, <laughs> now I'm Sarah Bremeyer with Tentos Marketing Communications. <laughs> and so uh, my role with Dr. Zuckerman and and Zuckerman Future Technologies and the Remy Class 4 Laser is I help David with all of his marketing materials. So I'm going to stay on and help David with his presentation. I have a little bit about um, practice marketing and regardless of what type of laser you use in your practice, obviously we would love for you to learn more about the Remy Class 4 Laser, but um, this is definitely going to help you understand if you're on the fence about bringing on new technology, especially a class four laser, the presentation this evening will hopefully just give you a little bit more insight and maybe a little bit more security as to why investing in this type of technology will do wonders for your practice if you do it right and if you choose the right partner. So, I am going to introduce Dr. Zuckerman. Um, he has 15 years of clinical experience with lasers. And um, I, I met David, gosh, I remember I met you at a trade show and you had your Yorkie, and, but you had Josie and we miss Josie, but um, she is, you know, looking down on us and, and blessing Remy. <laughs> yep. um, but I remember you were at a trade show and I think it was when I worked at an orthotics lab. and um, 
uh, and you were, you know, doing your technology. And it's just funny. I mean, I've talked to so many different people and David is just known in the industry as a key opinion leader in this type of technology, um, especially with class four lasers, ESWT, you've done it all. And, um, and I think if there's anybody who is like a go-to to ask about all the different types of technologies in this industry, you are definitely a safe bet to, you know, pick up the phone and call. So, um, but we launched the Remy and I say we, and I didn't, I didn't do it, but I'm just going to, I'm going to say we because um, <laughs> so uh, we launched the Remy in 2018 and now David has placed the Remy laser in over 400 podiatric practices. So um, needless to say, he knows how to make lasers work in a practice. So again, regardless of what type of laser you choose, David is a great resource to um, ask for consultation on how to make make lasers work in your practice. I'm going to let you do the rest. <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking about this because I don't want this to be an infomercial. I mean, the, uh, the Remy is a great laser, but I want to start out with we watched football this weekend. And do you think these guys, I mean, there were some great finishes, but do you think Josh Allen of the of the Buffalo Bills read books he plays the game. You're going to make mistakes and you learn from your mistakes. So a lot of my experiences from mistakes or observations about my growth. So that being said, I'm going to point out some things of how I developed ideas. Believe me, I've been uh, burnt so many times on warranties, on, on promises. Uh, if it's not in writing, it doesn't exist. So anytime you purchase something, make sure it's in writing. Um, that's very, very important. So I guess we're going to the next slide here. Is that what we're doing? Do you want me to stay here? We're on trends, the trends that are impacting medical practices. I, I don't have that. I just have, uh, it's got the, the Practice Partner Academy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. It's, that's because of my craziness with um, what I was doing i always forget that on zoom you can't do that you have to switch it so my apologies i will do that I now you. i can't even do it okay now so can you see it okay so we talk about the trends i mean we all talk about in 19 in the 80s we were talking about reduced reimbursements the uh you know Every we all talk about reduced reimbursements. You know, podiat medicine is the only thing where you produce a service and then you wait for payment. I mean, it's it's kind of, it doesn't make sense. You know, uh, you think about controlling your overhead. That's pretty hard to do. The only way that you can make money in any business is to produce great outcomes over and over and over again. Um, now, we talk about drug costs and the opioid abuse. Um, there's an article that, um, you know, people don't want to take medication. The one thing about COVID that may have, there's a little paradigm shift, and that's people don't want injections. They don't want to take medications. You know, they're more aware. They're, they're reading a little bit more. It's an opportunity. Uh, you got to take it. You know, you can have a lot of negative things happen, but there's always opportunity when one door closes, another one opens. And I got to tell you something. People say about me that my one strength is I can reinvent myself. You're always reinventing yourself. You don't run the same play when it's not working, um, whether you're forced into it or not. But that, that being said is to, you're going to see uh, when, when I was in practice, when we did a, a surgery, we would give the patient three days anti-inflammatories or post-surgical. We'd inject them with steroids. We were trying to get rid of excessive inflammation, which leads to increased pain, scar tissue, and other things. But with lasers today, um, you um, have that opportunity. You're not sticking them with a needle. People ask me, what's the advantages of a laser? You're not sticking them with a needle. And it's been proven. I, I, you know, I, re I do a lot of reading in the laser in industry. And there was one article talking about compound tibial fractures, where they were lasering right in the operating room, which is a good idea 
Uh, and you can do that with the remedy. You can bring it right into a hospital. It, it's qualified to do that. But my point is that when you get rid of excessive inflammation, and we all know that the idea is to reduce inflammation, you know, you, you got good dissection. If you dissect better, you get less swelling, which is really inflammation. My point is there was a study out that when they laser, they didn't get rid of all the opioids. When you have a compound fracture, tibial and your open reduction, that's going to hurt like hell. But they reduced the uh, amount of narcotics and the, the, uh, the duration of the narcotics. That being said, we've got an eight. The third thing is we've got aging population. And, you know, people don't want, you know, we always think the sports, you can go to the next slide, that you would think the sports people, athletes don't want, late, you know, they don't want invasive um, modalities. But, um, you know, the opportunity is there. Pain is a $75 billion global industry uh, in the next five years. Just think about that. You could be part of it. I don't know. What, I don't care what you're treating for pain as long as it's effective and it's evidence based and has stood the test of time. I've seen so many um, modalities start end, and finish. The surveys that were out there, you know, we talked about higher deductibles and co-pays. I'll never forget as long as I live. Uh, a podiatrist once said to me years ago, uh, Dave, I, I can't buy the, the laser. You know, I'm, I'm going to have a cash problem uh, because there's a, this is when the deductibles Medicare were seventy five dollars. And um, he said to me, you know, I can't, um, I, 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 you know, I'm worried about my cash flow. You know, I, and I said, well, what do you do? He says, well, I, I have to hold my insurances for 90 days. So the other doctor will eat the deductible. And I said, oh, this is the perfect time to buy a cash service, you know, that can produce. Again, it's got to be effective. There's other things involved, which we'll talk about. But I, then I turned around, I said, I said, I said, I love the first of the year because it's my opportunity to collect up front. This was in the 80s. Everybody was holding it so that Dr. XYZ would eat it and they wouldn't get it taken out. Today, fortunately, and you have EM, you know, your electronic medical rectors that tell you this, but I always collected, always collected it. Payer denials. I don't know what the hell you can do about that. You know, um, insurance companies are you know, they're insurance companies. What can you say? There's, uh, you know, there's the, I don't know how good, like I used to love Medicare, even though you got paid less, you had that check every uh, 10 days sent right to you. I'm, I'm not going to make a comment whether it's, all I can tell you is every freaking year, the doctors in the sixties were complaining that reimbursements were going down. The doctors in the, this is such an old story. So, you know, you know, you gotta be smart about this. Uh, I, I've gotten a new um, Larry Rubin, who's uh, he's, uh, he's a podiatrist. I didn't know he was in his 80s. He made it. We were talking last night. I'm actually texting. Um, you, you should listen to what he has to say about prevention and diabetes. The, the podiatrists today are the lower extremity limb salvage experts uh, of the lower extremity, but they're all gone sur surgery, surgery, surgery. If you want to look at it from a money standpoint, it's really prevention. So we talk about lasers. Lasers are a great, we did a survey and, I, and I'm getting this even more. The average podiatrist uh, that had a Remy laser made between 20 and $30,000 their first year during COVID. This is 2019. It's now getting into the 40s. And, and I'm going to tell you why that matters. It's not just the laser. We're going to get into this a little more. The laser, you have to have proper training, proper manuf proper practice management. I think I'm a good practice management teacher, but I bring other people in. You can always learn. I try to bring in the best when I, when I do my webinars. So can you afford it? That's a good point. Yeah, a very good point. That's why you need lasers that aren't $30,000, $40,000. And I know that you, you're entitled to make a profit. What happens if it breaks? That's a good point. You need a laser that has a track record and doesn't break. And if it does break, um, it needs to be repaired, fixed, or they, or the, or the, I don't care what modality it is, whether it's shockwave, whether it's a vascular machine, can't sit around for a week. I mean, I've been in the office where I'm not going to cancel my patients, you know, move them around and makes you look like a, makes you look like a jackass. Okay. So you got to make a promise that they will get to you ASAP. Fortunately with email texting, I mean, uh, you can, uh, 
I had a situation tonight where a doctor calls me up. He says to me, the password doesn't work. And I'm looking on it. I said, let me take a look. And uh, I thought it got wiped out because now we have where the passwords in the Remy are, um, you know, uh, they're, they're memorized. You don't have to put the numbers in. I'm always trying to learn things to make it quicker and easy from the doctor's standpoint. So to make a long story short, I get off and he calls me and you know, I said, I'll have the engineer take a look. We'll go into the server and check it. I don't know what's going on. And then I realized he had some of the first Androids I had and the passcode wasn't 000. It was one, two, three, four. He didn't remember it. And I couldn't, I knew there was something wrong because it has a special tag on it with the, and I couldn't figure out what it was. He caught me right in the middle of dinner. And I got to tell you something, you should be able to, you should, you should have a relationship with ever, whoever you purchase should, you know, any type of equipment with, they're going to respond to you. They may not be able to help you right away, but they should always respond to you. There's a, there's a survey that you text somebody 95% of the time, they saw it. They should answer you. This ghosting is ridiculous. Just say, I got you. I'll get back to you. Tell that person you need that kind of service. That's important to me because it's, it was always important to me. Now, how do you get patients to pay for cash? That is so easy. You just be honest. The definition of a physician is a teacher. Learn how to explain things. And I go into it. I'll give you one uh, good example. Um, uh, I'll never forget, as a, as a podiatrist, uh, I was a student and a uh, patient needed a fourth metatarsal osteotomy. I want, you have to go to the, you know, the resident because I'm a second year student. Comes in, the resident comes in, says, we're going to do a fourth metatarsal osteotomy. Uh, let's, uh, you know, uh, let's book it. Patient's like, what the hell did that person say to you? Dialogue is very important. Words are very important. I explained to the patient, the bone is out of a line. Okay. And I pushed up on the head and showed him. Now, when I push up on the bone, there's no pain there. So we have to make a special cut in the bone to realign the bone. And I showed him on a skeleton, you know, um, you need to have analogies. I can, I have like five or six particular analogies. One that I like is when I explain where fungus toenails, how does it kill fungus? Well, it's oxidation. What the hell does oxidation mean? Well, I said to the patient or, and the doctor oxidation is when you leave fruit out and it turns brown. The fruit is oxidizing, and that's how fungus is killed. It's oxidation. It's not the heat and the laser. Staff, that is so important. You don't know how much your staff can blackball you, okay? And it's an interesting thing. When I talk, doctors ask me, what does it cost? You know, what do I charge my patients? And, I mean, I trained this morning three offices. I want, this, I want everybody around. They need to be involved. You've got to educate your staff. So I said to them, I always say on this, um, do, you, do you prescribe uh, biomechanical orthotics, you know, where the insurance doesn't pay for it and, um, you know, um, insurance doesn't pay for it and the patient has to pay out of pocket. And we'll talk about this out of pocket. You know, you have to have options, credit card, care credit. You can even have checks that can be guaranteed. You should have every possible option for that patient to want to pay every option that you can think of. So you make it easier, even PayPal. I don't know if you could do PayPal. I do PayPal or Apple card. But my, my point is that you want to pick a fee. So the, you know, some offices say orthotics, they charge 300. Then I ask them or 500. It's anywhere between three and 500. Next thing I say, well, how many do you prescribe of these? I had one, off, one to three a day, which told me right off the bat that the office is comfortable with that they charged 450 this particular office. So I want to base the fees around, around 450, not a thousand dollars, because you could what we used to say you can always increase your fee. When do you inc increase your fee? If you want to. I personally think lasers should be priced, which the Remy is, so that you can do volume. And there's this vision of that I have it's a laser center. Lasers are, and Sarah may talk about this. Lasers are very sexy and attractive. I'll never forget in 1986, my first laser was uh, a CO2 laser it cost me $36,000 and it only did warts and you had to numb it up and cut it out. And that's when I learned you can't have a laser that just does one thing. The Remy is multifunctional. It does three things with the warts it's sure it's covered, but it allows three sources of revenue. You shouldn't have a laser for pain, a laser for uh, fungus. I mean, that's over. That is over. When I, I mean, I, I mean, I have my little calculator when somebody tells me they have three lasers, and I'm like, you know, what are you doing? And then I've asked a lot of I, lasers do work, 
and other lasers. It's not the Remy's, you know, it's, I love the Remy, but there's other lasers that work well. But I ask them, so uh, how you do? Oh, I love my laser. You know, they got this robotic laser and they're doing all this work. And I ask them, so you making any money? And they don't know. I'm like, shock. You better know what your return on investment is. If you don't, get yourself an accountant or a bookkeeper that could do the work for you. Now, another thing, so staff has to be involved. Staff, and it's ongoing training. It's not where they have an insert. They call it inserts. They drop the uh, laser or whatever it off, train you once, and goodbye. It takes months of interactions between the staff, the company. You know, you need to train. You need, you know, all, all my offices have, I have my cell phone number. What's it take for me to look at a text and say, call me. I'll discuss it with you. Because you want it to be successful. You, you got to look at it. It's not the sale of a laser. It's the success of the practice. Just like in your own practice, how do you get patients? You'd be successful and you're thorough with them. So they'll give you other patients. It's, a, it's amazing how people won't take that effort, but they'll go spend $5,000 on, I don't know, uh, uh, Facebook ads and all that stuff to bring in patients. Get your house. I was always told this. Get your house in order. Make sure you have a good staff. You're functional. I'll be able to help you that more and more. If I don't know it, I have a lot of practice management experts in podiatry that are practicing that can help you. I think uh, Chris Milkey is a great one. Holly Berkman, I've had her on recently. You can, uh, Peter Wishney is another one. People that, there's, and Rem Jackson, there's a lot of them out there. I was yeah. just going to say, David, as you've been going through, um, especially the two, the how do I get patients to pay cash and talking about staffing, I think, well, just... Was it two weeks ago? We had we had our webinar with Holly Berkman and t discussing uh, stop selling and start prescribing. Yep. So if anyone online right now is interested in seeing that webinar, um, just shoot me an email. My email is Sarah at tentosmarketing.com or you can get me at beheard at podiatrymeetings.com. You can obviously also email David. Uh, you'll see his email at the end of this um, presentation, but we have that webinar. We've also, like you just said, Dr. Milky has specifically discuss how to get patients yes. to um, pay for cash services. And, and we also had the webinar where I think it was uh, an amazing, like an amazing number two, or, you know, talking about staffing and, and how important that, that is. So, I mean, even in just the last couple of months, we have three perfect webinars to answer all these questions. Exactly. And, and that, the one thing with me is I don't claim to know all the answers, but I know the people that can help with the answers. You can't be an expert in everything at all. So you have to be able to enter. And that's the one thing that I hope I accomplish is I have a black book where I know a lot of people that I can introduce you to. Practitioners that are doing this and using the Remy laser, you know, neuropathy. Well, I explained it to you, but I want you to talk to, you know, Dr. Uh, you know, Stephen Barrett or, or, or somebody else. I mean, uh, there's so many out there. So should you buy new or used? I would never buy new. I love these when they have these lasers, 90 days. Trust me, I know lasers. I know equipment. You'd buy new. They say you should buy a used you know, car with a you know, low mileage. That doesn't work. And that's one of the things I've done is that I've, I see some of these lasers are half the power and you know, the Remy's less money, new. Five, 10. So I don't agree with it at all, at all. They're going to break. They're going to break. And if they, you know, a 90 day warranty on a on a laser. No, that's ridiculous. Uh, if anybody ever wants me to compare one laser to another one, I'd be happy to do it for you. I know them all because I've worked in the industry for a long time. I've worked for K laser. I work for Light Cure. I work for Sumis, l -Tech. I was part owner of Aspen. I know them all. I know all these lasers out there. I'll give you my opinion. I may not be right, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to get opinions because it's an investment once you buy it it's yours um so you know an fda cleared there's 510 cleared and then there's registered there's fda approved there's so many different words but the 510 when you talk about lasers and you're talking about shockwave you really want a 510k because it shows that they have to submit safety reports and equivalency meaning that you have to produce studies that's important to some degree, studies aren't the end of the world. You can go to the next slide. I mean, yeah, you know, you know, I've had doctors say to me, I want to talk to, uh, give me five references or three references. You just don't get one, you know. 
With me, I always have it with, with the Remy Laser. If you're unhappy, I'm sick, going to be 68 years old, and you don't lease it because you don't own it when you lease it. I'm, if you're not happy, I'm, I'm going to give your money back because I don't want, I, I, you know, why would you want to have a laser sitting on the shelf collecting dust? Okay. And I've had two lasers returned. One is the guy that was getting divorced and he was just too emotional. He, he gave it back and then he rebought it. And the other uh, particular gentleman um, lost his whole staff right in the middle of COVID. You think I'm going to leave that all, you know, say, hey, too bad, butter. I mean, we are colleagues. I wouldn't want, would you want to do that to a colleague or anybody, you know, stick them? No. Why would you want to do that? You wouldn't want to do that with a patient. You know, there's an old saying, generally speaking, there was a department store called John Wanamaker's and their, and their philosophy was the, the customer is always right. You should think that in your practice too. Don't fight with your patients. When you're fighting with your patients, you're not growing. Who wants to fight with a patient? You have no idea. You know, I'll, I'll give you one and I'll get back to the lecture. Once I had a woman, I did a great bunion surgery on. You know, she loved it. She was fine. Then there was like a co or something. She starts blasting my staff coming in. I'm looking at her and I'm like, my first thought was, oh, my God, you got to go to that slide. I said, oh, my God, this woman, you're, you're, you want to fight with them. And then I said to her, are you OK? Is everything OK? And she told me her husband had died. You know, so it's, it's like kicking the dog. Don't think it's always about you. And that may come with experience. So this has been my criteria that I think is very important. And we've extrapolated on it. A laser must be effective. It must be portable. It must be multifunction, revenue sources, and effective. Patient has to afford it. And you as a practitioner need a fast return on investment. You remember I told you that the average, and this was a random, just texting people 20, 30, and, and most of them are making between twenty and thirty thousand dollars right around COVID and into COVID. It excludes New York because New York was, uh, it was you know in the frost. Uh, effective marketing, and I'm going to give you my opinion on what effective the end goal of, uh, and I've kind of like came to this conclusion. I have a doctor Zeno, Todd Zeno, and he has the marketing, and uh, he he. Uh, he actually made a, a video testimony, and that's where I learned about this. He just, it, the patients, here's how you know your marketing is great, and Sarah's great at this. But when the patient asks you for the service and says, Doc, do you think, um, you think this, this might help me? Of course, you're going to tell them the truth, and you're going to evaluate them. But when patients are asking you for your service and your opinion of whether it can help you, and Todd Zeno pointed that out to me. It's not, you know, if you're spending 10, 15, 20 minutes trying to talk a patient into something, it's never going to happen. Patients will purchase just like doctors will purchase when they're ready. And you have to be ready for when they're ready. So Sarah's going to talk about the effect of a marketing, uh, but you need support. I think I give great support and great training capabilities. I think that's my strength because I enjoy it. You know, it's my, it's my one contact with the podiatry profession and practices to look at them. You know, uh, I mean, I had a big practice at one time. I had two offices, 12 people. Um, you know, it was tough. I understand it's the same problems you had in the 1980s that you have in 2022. Trust me, same story. You know, you can survive and you can thrive, but you got to focus on what's important to you and have a plan. Next slide. I was just going to say, I um, if, if anyone online does want a... A, a better idea of the support of the support that you do get with Zuckerman Future Technologies, David and the Remy. Just go to remylaser.com and our testimonials page. Every testimonial is a little different. Each physician that has submitted a testimonial discusses, um, you know, some some of them are just talking more about the how they use it for warts or how patients have loved it for pain but i think almost across the board every single one has commented on the support that david has given the practice and i think that's just the i mean out of everything else that one is always yeah. hits home yeah. and so i mean it yeah. Sarah, let, them, let them tell that story for you i'll, I'll pay something <laughs> interesting because i always you know it's me myself and i do have you're my marketing director you know, I have, uh, you know, co coordinators, et cetera. But I always say to the person, what do you need? What The worst thing, can, the Remy has a five-year warranty. 
What's the worst? That could, what's it going to cost you when that? What's the one thing that could go wrong? And I'll tell you what it is. After five years, if the main diode goes, it's fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, we're talking between five and ten years, and these are top quality parts. I mean, you don't want to. You want to know what's going to happen down the road. And the next question, I don't know if I volunteered or people have asked me. I don't. I don't remember. What happens? I'm. I'm. A, you know. I'm by myself. What happens if I die? That's a good point. Well. The Remy was designed so that, I mean, I have a repair service, I have great manufacturing engineers, but let's say if I die, I hope I know, um, I'm in pretty great health, I feel great, but the, and, but the point is the Remy was designed where it can, it's a dental laser. It's not one of these boutique lasers where the, you know, only this particular company can make it and manufacture. There's lasers out there right now that are like that. I've watched, a good one was the Novian great laser. And we made one place. It's out of business. And whoever bought it is stuck with it. Okay. If this laser here, almost anybody can repair because it it's got very common standard parts in it that any laser company can fix and you can get parts for it. That's very important. Don't buy these fancy boutique lasers that, uh, you know, well, we have the wavelength. There's no such thing as the wavelength, the wavelength. But to me, you know, the, the Remy, it's, you, you know, it's got to be multifunctional, portable, and affordable. This laser is only four pounds. Five years ago, maybe around five years ago, this particular laser if you, was 25, 30 pounds. You want to be able to move it from office to office. So dual wave, I, one thing I found out, the dual wave um, is much more effective for fungus toenails than a single wave lamp. And this is from feedback. I'm not a big fan of fungus toenails. I, I've, I've, uh, I've launched a lot of lasers for that. My first portable one was a Q Clear. It's a good laser. It's still around. There it is again. It was a boutique laser. See, I've learned from these things where only one place can repair it. That's not good. You know, you don't want it where it has a lot of calibration, a lot of surface. The Remy has no very, you don't have to bring it in for service. You really know. The worst that can happen with it is that you may need a new uh, uh, a cord if you this this cord I don't know if you can see me this is the therapy cord you know the pricing of these I did this intentionally it cost you three hundred fifty dollars to get the whole thing replaced but not right away it's got it's under warranty but I'm talking about down the road you know you got expenses you want to keep these expenses low I'll never forget there was a laser called the cool uh, it was called I my first uh, pay, uh, fungus toenail laser cost me seventy five thousand dollars. OK, when I tried to sell it a year later because it didn't work, um, I barely got 25 for it. OK, you're not going to get a lot of uh, resale value on these lasers. So you're buying them to use them and they got to work the average lifespan. I mean, I have lasers uh, that are out there that are uh, 10 years old, but I'd say it's anywhere from the Remy. We don't know this, but it's starting to pan out this way anywhere from seven to 10 years where you won't have to put a new diode in it. And, that, and that's just from my experience. You know, a typical diode cost you $5,000 because a lot of these companies add on, maybe I should do this, but they add on, you know, the fact that you call up and say, I need this part, they tack it on and double it. You know, I want you to refer me people and you should never nickel and dime your, your uh, patients. And, you, and, and I don't want to nickel and dime you. I want you to do well because it's like a patient. I want you to refer me somebody. And that's what happens. We have a tremendous referral in the, uh, with the Remy. So it's dual wave. And I got to tell you one thing. It's all about dosage with lasers. All about dosage. So I give the analogy where you have, uh, it's like an antibiotic. You have to have the right dosage, among other things to get rid of the, you know, the right antibiotic, but the right dosage of the antibiotic, you're not going to do augmentin at hundred milligrams and get rid of a staph infection. You need the right dosage of light energy to activate the mitochondria and the cells to produce ATPs. That's a very basic thing. It's just like jump starting a car battery to get the engine. You got to jump start it with enough charge. So you need proper dosage. It's called power of uh, it's called your power density. Now, here's another laser that I've just developed. Uh, I actually didn't develop it. Uh, it was, I've refined it. It was out in the market for a couple of years. I watched it. Uh, one thing I do is I watch the repair history. Before I get involved with something, I want to see the repair history. I talk to technicians, people that repair it. What do you think? Uh, I, you know, I have my own technicians. I make them take it apart. 
So what do you think? Is it hard to repair? It's important. You know, I don't know. You know, it, I want to be around for a long time, but this particular laser, is it for podiatry? Yes. It's still 50% less than any laser if there's one equivalent to it, but it's for full body. Or if you're doing a high volume practice, um, you know, uh, it's good. It's putting, it's all about the dosage. And at one time, if you did a 45 watt laser with a single wavelength, it was a blowtorch. We've blended the wavelengths where you can use it and it's comfortable. It has to be comfortable, but it's all about dosage over time. Just like I said, you got to get the right charge to start an engine with a battery. You need the right energy to start the ATP production. It's a great laser. You know, it's, it's mainly in the medical field. This just to show you, this is my Yorkshire Terry. He's four pounds. He's bigger than, he's four pounds. He's a little nothing. I wish he was, he, I can't reach for him. He's down underneath me, but he's about this big. You know, look at that compared to the Remy. So the Remy's small. And one thing that surprised me, the Remy was on uh, my feet are killing me with Dr. Brad Schaefer. It's been in the NBA. I went, I went starting with the Eagles many years ago, probably 2009, 2010. I'll never forget what the staff said to me. Pardon my French. You're not fucking experimenting on with it with my players with a laser. They wanted, I did it for Shockwave, you know, for ESWT. That was uh, part of my French, but that's what they said to me after I fixed a uh, how it's limited with a laser and manipulation. And the guy could play. They all, you know, it's all about results. All about the results. Again, uh, multifunction to me is very important. Fungus, warts, and pain. Very, very important that they can do a multifunction. Remember, I told you the story where uh, you know I had a one-trick pony, uh, thirty-six thousand dollar laser did warts. And on that, on that note, uh, you can go to the next slide. Is this is where the marketing come in? You, you got to realize it's got to be affordable. The Remy's the Remy thirty watt is less than sixteen thousand. If there's anything equivalent, you're going to pay thirty thousand. There are some ones very similar. Now here's something that we've added. I'm always working better. Android. Android is where you can, like an iPhone, it updates itself automatically. The graphics are amazing. This can play movies. Uh, it can, um, it, it, it can, it's all in the laser and it's very fast and quick. We do have, uh, and I only did this because of, um, you know, there's, or I don't think there's a need for robotic that, or unattended, but they, we do have that feature. Uh, I think it's very limited because when you're treating pathology, plantar fasciitis, you need to treat the origin, the assertion, you need to treat the nerve roots. It's, it's very important, especially with full body. Somebody has shoulder pain, a lot of times they'll have uh, stenosis or some kind of disc problem or arthritic problem in the neck. You always follow the nerve roots. Lasers are very sensitive for nerves. So I think it's very limited robotic, but it's available. It's avail it is an option. I'm probably going to talk you out of it. And I'll tell you why, but you have that option if you grow into it. Now, we just developed this cart and it would cost me a thousand dollars. I'm willing to. It's such a beautiful cart. See, it's all about the presentation. When this laser's in your office with a beautiful cart like this, it makes it very high tech and, and it gives value. So I'm investing in you by giving you this cart uh, voluntarily, you know, and paying for it for you. So that's that. Now, the marketing, I'm just impressed with Sarah. Without Sarah Brinmeyer, the Remy would never be where it is today because marketing is important. Good marketing. And I just want to add one thing before I turn it over to Sarah is to me, you know, the, the brand is not the Remy laser. It's the doctor. And I've, I've offered this to other doctors that have the Remy is I want to make and we have videos that Sarah developed. You put on your website, your TV. I want the doctor when he's comfortable and he's used it for a while, the te Remy technology, to make a video of himself. I want the, the patients and the practice to remember what he said. He may be holding the laser, you know, but and it's mentioning that it's the Remy, but it's him talking. You're the brand doctor. So, Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about the marketing and, and your um, comments? Well and, and you're absolutely right. The brand is, is the practice. It is the physician because patients aren't out Googling lasers. They're not Googling Remy and, and looking for, you know, they're not um, comparing one laser to the other as if they are purchasing one for their home. Uh, they just, it, they trust that if you have a laser in your practice, they probably just assume they're all the same. I mean, how would they know this is not their business? So we don't, 
use our tools. I mean, we'll, we'll put an image of the laser on, on some of the tools uh, simply so it just connects and like, so there's a, a tangible object there. But uh, at where you see the Remy logo there, we actually replace all of those logos with your practice logo and all the colors that you see in these samples um, on just this one si simple slide uh, are the, the Remy colors. But when you purchase your laser, you get, there's a small contact form on our website. It comes to me and you simply tell me all of your contact information, submit your logo. I'll get on your website. Um, mo most times, most practices have a website. If you don't have a website, that's okay too. Um, and you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Whatever tools you have, we make sure that we implement your brand or, or communicate your current brand. So I take all of those tools that you give to me and customize it for you. And it's really turnkey. We have a very turnkey kit for in-office marketing. Now, there are, there are some external tools um, like advertisement templates for Facebook, website verbiage, and educational videos that you can put on your website. You can put those on social media. The in-office tools, like David was mentioning earlier, Dr. Zeno is a perfect testimonial for that. Get these posters. If you purchase a laser, your, your posters, the, the design is, I mean, if you were to hire a, an agency to do the design that's already created for you in this toolkit, you would spend an additional $1,000 minimum. Like More. minimum. More. Yeah, ton. If you did the entire kit, it would probably be closer to $5,000. I just, and just, just for the graphic design, not even for printing or anything like that. So this toolkit is such a useful piece of it that other, that many other uh, competitors don't provide you. And, and if they do provide it, it's often just talking about the laser with their brand. So they don't take the time to put your brand into their materials. So I make sure to provide you customized brochures, practice posters, advertisement templates, and we do have different types of templates. We have print ones. I recommend the digital ones for Facebook. We have postcard templates. You can use those to actually do mailings if you like. Uh, a lot of practices just print those out and use them as handouts in the office so that no matter any time someone leaves the office, they take a new postcard and we can make those seasonal. Uh, there are so many different templates that we have for the posters. I've got six different designs. The brochure, the brochure, I mean, doesn't really need to be uh, designed a lot differently. We have one main brochure that talks about pain and fungus. Uh, we are in the middle of developing a new brochure that discusses the wart treatment, but we have had other offices that have requested uh, a brochure that just talks about fungal nails. I also have one that just talks about laser lasers for neuropathy. So all you have to do is ask. <laughs> Ultimately, we have so many different templates. I, I actually forgot as, as we were talking about this, I was like, oh, there's only one brochure. And I was like, actually, I've got three different brochures that you can choose from. The advertising templates, I think we've got four different Facebook templates for fungus, four different ones for pain. Um, we have appointment cards that just, I mean, they're your standard appointment cards, but if you want to take an extra step into your laser campaign, especially if you're going to brand something as a laser treatment center, an appointment card that specifically encourages um, scheduling an appointment for laser treatment is really important. And then the education videos, um, like I said, you can use those in your uh, waiting room. So we'll give you files where you can download those. Uh, I've had people ask for CDs or not CDs, DVDs. It, it, those are tough <laughs> anymore. <laughs> if you're using that, maybe we we'll talk about updating your equipment, but um, you can usually put those on even just a thumb drive. Most, most screens that are in waiting rooms now will have a, a, a port for a, for a thumb drive. So we can even just put a, like a stream, just a stream of different educational videos two of such being your, your laser videos. But I also recommend using those on your website. So I will give you website verbiage that you can take, give to your webmaster, you can tweak it, but we'll give you embed codes as well to embed those videos directly into your website as well. So, and then we can also customize those. It doesn't take me very long to switch out the standard video. If you look on, if you go to remylaser.com, go to the marketing materials page, you'll see all these templates. All of them are going to be branded as Remy. 
just imagine everything that's branded Remy is going to be branded you. So just in your head, replace all those, replace the color scheme. It's all going to be whatever matches you and your aesthetic because circling back, this is about your practice, your laser center, your patients aren't purchasing a Remy, they're purchasing your treatment. And so we want to make sure that we just align with everything that you've got going on. And that's what has allowed a lot of other practices to purchase multiple lasers. They've, they, we just put out an email blast yesterday with Dr. Um, Lynn Hawbelt in Pittsburgh. And she said that they had, the, I mean, you saw the, the laser is, weighs four pounds. You can easily pick that thing up and truck it around from office to office. However, if you have lasers and multiple practices, you don't have to be stealing from the other office every other day. So, but when you have marketing in one practice and you have that ROI quickly, this in combination with the price that David has set up, you can ask for a, a stronger package to get a, a, a quick ROI. So when you start marketing in a single location, it will give you the opportunity to get that ROI quickly and purchase a laser for another location. Can I make a comment? Um, yeah. Sarah, real quick is that when the Re Remy was developed to be portable, it's in a shockproof waterproof case. I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm just amazed that the people are buying three or four of them, well, you know, multiple. That's lazy. Why would you do something like that when you can just, well, I used to, I had a fluoroscope, I had all kinds of equipment. It was packed up, put in my car. And then I went, you know, to another place. Unless you have multiple doctors, you don't need multiple lasers. Right. Okay. No, well, it, exactly. If, if it's just you pick that thing up and take it. But yeah, if you've got, other physicians that you're partnering with, it's almost that, like, too. what's that? I tell them that too. I said, stop being, oh, absolutely. make that yeah, I mean, your money and invest it, put it in a bank or something. You know why you can't, okay. one of the things in podiatry, Jay, we talk about the, the reimbursements and the, and the denials and stuff. You can't waste, you can't work your way out of this. You got to be stealth and smart and stop wasting your money and, and invest it and things that are going to give you effective and good return on invest and help your patients. You can't make those mistakes anymore. You know, you could always work your way out of it. If I told you the crap that I bought over my years, God. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so David, if you want to go ahead and let everyone know what your offer is for this evening, and then we can do some Q&A. Sure. The offer back is that cart which every, every laser, uh, Remy laser purchase, we do have for qualified people, doctors, you have to be a doctor, uh, a 0% financing. I'm able to hook up with a, with a bank and a broker that do offer that, you know, um, which is free money. You know, I, I don't understand why, I mean, it's nothing wrong with putting it on a, on a credit card. Uh, if you're planning on paying it off or, yeah, the best way to do it is you uh, borrow money from yourself and pay yourself interest. But that being said, we do have that offer and I'm going to be able to discuss it with anybody. So you can always reach me, texting me at 856-229-2939. Or you can email me. There's the remylaser.com uh, website. I'm happy to talk to you about any technology, to be honest with you. I'm pretty good with ESWT, you know, uh, which is, they call it shockwave today. I'm pretty good with technology. You know, um, you know, and, and I'll leave this with uh, uh, one last thing. And that's I'll never forget one time many years ago, I'm at the no nonsense conference and a doctor comes up to me and he says, I got to buy myself a, uh, a digital X-ray. This was years ago. I got to go buy a digital X-ray. Uh, it's they were twenty five thousand dollars. And I said to him, um, are you crazy? I said, I don't mind you not buying my laser. OK, but why would you spend twenty five thousand dollars when just take the penalty from Medicare, take that twenty five thousand, get another room and treat more patients? You got to think that way. You just can't. I mean, to me, digital x-rays, I'd love to know the return on investment on a digital x-ray machine. You know, I'd love it. I don't you know. I know it's cool today. I think it's a great everybody has it. So you have to have it. But in the beginning, why would you want to buy a digital x-ray machine when you can invest it in treatment chairs, you know, giving more services? So just my opinion, I don't say I know it all, but that was back at least 10 years ago when people were doing, uh, you know, buying digital x-rays. So um, does anybody have any questions or comments or criticisms? I'm always here. 
David, I have a criticism. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love your webinars. I love it when we have you on because you can hear the passion that you have for this in your voice. I mean, I feel like if we gave you five hours to talk, you could talk about this for five hours. So I just, I so appreciate you and your expertise and your passion and just generosity towards towards this industry and everything you do. So well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Um, so while we're waiting for anybody who has any additional questions, I just want to show if you go to podiatrymeetings.com, uh, David Zuckerman Future Technologies is one of our bright, shiny sponsors. You can see that David does have other products under the Zuckerman Future Technologies brand. There's the Remy. Um, you may have heard of Onifix and Grown Toenail Treatment. And then there's also the Poto Expert Foam Cream line. But if you scroll down, uh, one of the things I was mentioning during the webinar is the the testimonials. So I would definitely recommend going to the testimonials page on the website and just, I don't even know if we've got all of these loaded. Sorry, it's taking a second here for these videos to load, but there are tons of videos of people that David has worked with. So if you wanna hear it from the horse's mouth, just listen to these testimonials. And we also have some of our physicians submit patient testimonials as well, which are really, really helpful. Um, if you scroll down, I mean, and these are all on David's website, but there's laser chat and then there's obviously the videos for the other products in David's line, but definitely recommend going to the website, checking out laser chat. This is just more of David shooting the shit with you, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, training, showing you how to use these tools in your practice effectively. They're not very long and you can watch them intermittently. So um, I would definitely recommend taking some time to do that. So laser track testimonials. And then, like I said earlier, the practice marketing, this is where you'll see um, our educational videos, the brochure templates, the, the poster templates. We just added a countertop display because that, again, things that are requested wow. weren't always a part of the initial toolkit, but then they get requested. I'm like, well, I, if I'm going to do it for one, I might as well do it for all. So um, we've added that. We've got the, the handouts. We've got the Facebook posts. The fa Facebook posts come with the image. And then I've created some standard text for you. Um, landing pages, web pages. So like I said, there has, there's just not a more complete toolkit or just a laser that checks all the boxes when it comes to the price, the support, the effectiveness of the laser itself, just all of the questions that you would ask in order to invest in a laser. David has, has had his hands on all of them. He's kind of taken the best pieces of every company that he's worked with and then puts him into the mix of his own. And, uh, and well, then you add me, of course. <laughs> so I, I recommend you look at the website quickly because didn't you tell me you're upgrading it in the near future? Yeah, yeah, pretty soon. So this week, Ann and I are going to be at the SAM conference in Florida. Um, thank goodness I've got to get out of Illinois for a hot minute. And I hope it's when I come weather. back, we're going to redesign the Remy Laser website. So I'm excited. But yeah. All the all the tools will it won't go down. The site will will never be down, so you you won't miss anything. Wow. All right, but it doesn't it doesn't look like we've got any questions coming through, David? You must have just I, taken care everyone, of all the uh, inquiries in your lecture. They're in awe. <laughs> That's right, obviously. So be sure if you want to contact David, um, you can do so at David Zuckerman, DPM at gmail .com. Uh, his information is also here and you can go to his booth on the podiatrymeetings.com site, or you can go to remylaser.com, obviously. And yeah. And did you have anything you wanted to close out with? No. Um, thank you for your time. Everybody who joined us. Thank you, um, David, for joining us and for sharing your expertise with us. And um, if anyone's headed to Florida this week, we're excited to see you there. We've got lots of fun things going on at Sam. So we're looking forward to a awesome uh, 2022. Absolutely. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Yes. All right. Good night, everybody. Night. Thanks again. Bye.